hi everyone how are you today we are going to discuss another question regarding mrcs based on emrcs we will discuss all the questions of emrcs all the questions of the Fausier sheet and the recalls so stay tuned with us here the question which of the following most commonly arises from the brachiocephalic artery so here the artery which arises from the brachiocephalic artery so first of all we have to know about brachiocephalic artery and then the, it is branches the branches of the brachiocephalic artery so here the options the options are vertebral artery supra scapular artery thyroid idea ima artery left subclavian artery and none of them so we have to find out on option which is the branch of brachiocephalic artery so we can see here uh, it is the largest artery in the body it is widest artery of the body it arises from the left ventricle it's the ascending outer ascending outer it is started uh, from the uh, left ventricle of the heart and after arising of the ascending outer it gives two important bands one is right coronary artery and another one is left coronary artery so from the heart ascending outer arises and it gives two important bands right coronary artery and left coronary artery then ascending outer continues as a arch of aorta and the arch of aorta after it is arching it starts as a descending th thoracic aorta and it descends down through the posterior wall of the thorax in the posterior mediastinum and leaves the thorax into abdomen through the uh, opening in the diaphragm Uh, at the level of thoracic cruel vertebra for this this point the arch of aorta also uh, here gives three important branches: brachiocephalic artery left common carotid artery and left subclavian artery here our focusing point is here the brachiocephalic artery so we have to know about details about the brachiocephalic artery this brachiocephalic artery it arises from the arch of aorta and it terminates into the right subclavian artery and right common carotid artery so brachiocephalic artery it arises from the arch of the outer with it is two other brands left common carotid artery and left subclavian artery and after arising from the arch of the outer it terminates into two branches and the two branches are right subclavian artery and right common carotid artery so we have to find out from the brachiocephalic artery which uh, artery arises any of this part of the brachiocephalic artery up to there from here so from here to from here which artery may arises we have to find out in the second picture we can see this starts of the arts of the aorta and end of the arts of the aorta and arts of the aorta gives three important branches we have the brachiocephalic artery, left common carotid artery, and left subclavian artery. So here we can see brachiocephalic trunk. It divides into two branches: right common carotid and right subclavian. And we can see here where an artery arises and it goes upward and it reaches up to the thyroid gland and supply the thyroid gland and which is the name of this artery this is our answer this is arteria thyroidia ima so it is a minor branch which supplies the thyroid gland because thyroid gland uh, receives it most of the supply from superior and inferior thyroid artery so arteria thyroid idea ima it arises from the brachiocephalic trunk and it ascends upwards and in the thyroid gland supplies the thyroid gland and ends here 
as we can see the thyroid gland is supplied by another two arteries and they are superior thyroid artery here we can see this is the superior thyroid artery and superior thyroid artery it is the branch it is the first branch of the external carotid artery it is the first branch of external carotid artery after arising the superior thyroid artery it descends down in the thyroid gland and supplies the upper part of the thyroid gland on both sides on the other hand we can see here the inferior thyroid artery in the both sides here the inferior thyroid artery and here is the right side inferior thyroid artery the inferior thyroid artery it arises from the thyrocervical trunk arising from this artery this is subclavian artery right side right subclavian and left side left subclavian artery and from the subclavian artery thyrocervical trunk arises and it ascends upwards and reaches in the thyroid glands and it supplies the inferior part of the thyroid gland here on important uh, uh, teach that the parathyroid gland which lies posterior part of the thyroid gland the fourth thyroid gland they are supplied by the inferior thyroid artery so here our final answer is thyroid area ima artery because it arises from the brachiocephalic artery so our final answer is thyroid area ima artery the other artery such as vertebral artery vertebral artery is a branch of subclavian artery supraescapular artery it is also branch of a branch of subclavian artery left subclavian artery it is branches from the arch of aorta so our final answer is arteria thyroid area ima artery or thyroid area ima artery thank you